Welcome to the seventh uh, video lessons of system of linear equations. Um, in this lesson, we will discuss how to apply the row echelon form uh, to solve a system of linear equations. So, after converting the augmented matrix into its row echelon form, how to find out the, the solution. Suppose we are given this system of linear equations x2 plus x3 minus 2x4 is equal to minus 3, x1 plus 2x2 minus x3 is equal to 2, 2x1 plus 4x2 plus x3 minus 3x4 is equal to minus 2, x1 minus 4x2 minus 7x3 minus x4 is equal to 19. So first of all, we have to convert, uh, assemble this uh, augmented matrix of this system of linear equation. So therefore, we have um, first equation, the coefficient 0, 1, 1, minus 2, and the right hand side minus 3. And the second equation, the coefficients are 1, 2, minus 1, and 0, and the right hand side 2. Um, third equation, the coefficients of x1, x2, x3, x4 are 2, 4, 1, minus 3, and the right hand side minus 2. And the uh, coefficients of fourth equation, 1, minus 4, minus 7, minus 1, and the right hand side minus 70. So therefore, we just consider our augmented matrix. Now we are going to convert this uh, augmented matrix into its row echelon form. So first of all, we have zero here. You may remember that uh, when we are considering the from the left hand side, first of all, we have to ensure that we have a non-zero value uh, at the top of the uh, first column. So for that purpose, we can interchange either with 2, 1, or 1. Since we have to make uh, the first entry as pivot element as 1, it would be good if we can interchange with the either second row or uh, third row. What I have done here, I interchange the first row and uh, second row. So in the new matrix, second row become the first row first row become the second row. Now, having uh, obtained a non-zero value at the top of the column, uh, we have to make sure that it is 1. It, since it is already 1, we then the next step is what we have to do. All the entries below this pivot element should be equal to 0. Here it's already 0. Here we have to make 0 and here we have to make it zero let's see how to do how we can do that in the next slide so now you, you see that here we have one here we need to make one to zero so you can multiply uh, the first row by minus two and add into the second row so you multiply the first row by minus two and add into the third row this will be your uh, operation for the third row to make sure that this is equal to 0, so you can multiply this by minus 1 and add into this, then this becomes 0. So therefore, for the fourth row, we have minus R1 plus R4 is new R. So then you have the uh, results in uh, augmented matrix. Minus 2 plus 0, uh, uh, second row doesn't change. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0. A 0 here, minus 4, plus 4, 0, 2, plus 1, 3, 0, plus minus 3, minus 4, plus minus 2, minus 6. That is our second, third row. And then fourth row, you multiply the first row by minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. Minus 2, minus 4, minus 6. Uh, minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1. Plus 1 minus 7 is minus 6. 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1. Minus 2, minus 19, minus 21. Now, through this operation, you can see that we have the first entry as the pivot element and below the uh, 
pivot element, all the entries are zero. Now, having done that, we move to the next submetric, this one. So, first of all, we have to make sure this is non zero, it's already non zero, and it is, should be one. So, it's already one. The, uh, then below this one, all entries should be zero. So this entry is already zero. What we can have to do is make using this one, we have to make this one into zero. So you can multiply the second row by six and add into the uh, third, fourth row. So then you have, you multiply the second row by six and add into the fourth row to make the new fourth row. So first three row doesn't change. So, 6 into minus 6, 0. 6 plus 6, uh, minus 6, again 0. 12 minus 1, minus 13. Uh, plus 3, uh, 18, uh, minus 18, plus minus 21, minus 39. So, then... So we have uh, through that operation. So we have completed the row HLN form of the second column as well. We have the pivot element. All the entries below pivot elements are zero. Then we have to move to the next submetric, this one. So we have to make sure that this is equal to one, and also uh, we can make this one is also to one. For that purpose, uh, to make sure that this is equal to 1 so you can divide the third row by 1 uh, 3 so multiplying by 1 over 3 for this to make this one into 1 you can uh, divide by minus 13 so that mean multiplying by 1 no, minus 1 over 30 so then the resulting matrix is this one now you can see it is in row echelon form there is no zero row all the entries, all the entries in the main diagonal as this form, they are one. First leading uh, coefficients for each row, they are one. And below one, all entries are zero. So now we can write down the equivalent system. So equivalent system, uh, x1 plus 2, x2 minus x3 is equal to 2. That is related to the first uh, row. For the second row, we have x2 plus x3 minus 2x4 is equal to minus 3. Third row, x3 minus x4 is equal to minus 2. The last row, x4 is equal to 3. Now you can use the backward substitution to obtain the solutions of the linear system. So uh, x4 is equal to 3. Substituting x4 is equal to 3 pro to the second equation, x3 we can get x4 plus x4 minus 2. So that is 1. So then from the se second equation, you can get x2 is equal to minus 3 plus 2x4 minus x3. So substituting x3 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 3, you can get x2 is equal to 2. Then the first, from the first equation, you can get x1 is equal to 2 minus x2, 2x2 plus x3. Substituting x2 is equal to 2 and x3 is equal to 1 you can get x1 is equal to minus 1. That's exactly the backward substitution. So what we have seen here, uh, when we have the low, uh, linear system, ax equal b, we start with the augmented matrix. And then apply the system of row operations, sequence of row operations. And then, we convert into A into row echelon form, let's say A bar, and apply the same operation into B. So this is row echelon form of A. So then having a row echelon form, then you can write down the equivalent system. So you find out the equivalent system and solve it to solve equivalent system, you use the backward substitution.
so that's what we can apply the row operation and we can use the concept of row echelon form of the augmented metric to solve a linear system thank you so much for joining with us